Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I don't do monthly julep videos anymore because I don't know that all of my subscribers like seeing what new nail polish they've come out with, but julep has been launching some absolutely amazing colors and products. So I just want to give you guys like a quick overview. These were April's colors. I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you have questions about the color name, we link them in the comments down below. But these were April's colors. So for April, I got the entire box to review, right? Gorgeous, bright, fun summer colors. There's some more of April's colors here. I love these, the blues. Look at that blue. Gorgeous, right? And then there was one dark blue that came with April as well. So those are April's colors. So you might say, why are you bothering to show this to us now? Because I'm going to show you May's colors as well. And then I'm going to show you guys what's happening with Julep Beauty. Because that is what's really, really exciting for me. There are my May colors. It's just a couple of blues, a red, and this gorgeous gold. Now, I know, all in all, that is not exciting for my beauty subscribers. But this will be. So for May, Julep launched eyeshadows. These are called the Feels Like Velvet Full Coverage Eyeshadow Duos. They're supposed to be comparison to NARS Dual Intensity Shadows. This one is called Coconuts and Cabanas. It's the only one I have. Now, I have always said, very honestly to you guys, that I am on the fence about the quality of Julep's eyeshadows. I can genuinely say now that I am no. I am not. Watch this. Three little wraps, okay? Back of my hand. There's no primer on my hand. There's nothing. Do you see how pigmented these colors are? How blendable. These feel like silk. They are so smooth. You might need to build up the gold, but still, look at the color pigmentation. I absolutely love this duo. I think the colors are gorgeous. It reminds me of my Alhambra, I think it is, from NARS. I think it's Alhambra. I think Alhambra has two lighter shades in it, but the gold in this reminds me very much of the gold in that. I absolutely am loving this. I will most likely pick up a couple more shades of these. I think these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, last month, Julep also launched brow products. Now, these are quite interesting. I haven't played around with them too, too much because I find them to be, I don't know, kind of odd. So basically, it's a little pen stick, and then on this side is the brush, and then down at the bottom here is your actual product. So you kind of swirl your brush in here, like this. It gets your brush full of product, and then you can put it on. Now, I've got two colors. I'm just going to kind of make a mess in the back of my hand here. I've got warm brown which doesn't feel all that warm. It actually feels more taupey, which would be more cool toned in my opinion, but I will show it to you anyway. I always try and clean up my brush after too. So that one is warm brown. And then this one I have here is called rich brown. Now I am in no way saying that these are bad products. I have been using them. They do definitely stay put on your eyes. They do definitely have pack color and help to organize things. That's rich brown right there. They're not all that different when you look at them up close. I say rich brown is more of like a red undertone and warm brown is more of a taupe undertone, which is interesting to me because it probably should be the other way around. But anyway, these are just cute little products. I think they're I'm not, I'll do a full review. I'll do a Thursday's Treasure or Trash on these because I haven't used them enough to say whether or not I think they're worth purchasing and I don't want to tell you guys they're not good because again, I haven't used them enough. They do set amazingly well. I'll tell you guys that much. Now, along with their new brow products, they've also been playing with lipsticks. So Julep has only ever launched mini lipsticks in the past and I own all of them. Some of them I'm super impressed with and some of them I really, really don't like. They have finally launched full lipsticks. And again, these are a love-hate relationship for me. I love the sleek black packaging. I love that it's magnetic. If you get two that are opposite and you try and put them beside each other, they actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, but they actually fight each other. So that's kind of obnoxious for storing purposes because mine always kind of move away from each other in my storage containers and I don't like that. But the formulation of these are really, really good. And I'm going to swatch these ones on my hand because I think you can get as good of an idea from that. So Chit Chat is like kind of the only nude toned one that I own. It's more of a mauve than a nude. 
These are really creamy. They aren't super duper long wearing, but they are a lipstick formula. They don't claim to be long wearing. I would say four hours, four to six hours, but if you eat or drink, they are gonna come off. But the colors on these are really pretty and they do feel very moisturizing on the lips. So that's Chit Chat. Then I would say that Twirl is the next lightest color I have. It's just a really beautiful everyday wearable pink. That's Twirl. Then for me, it's probably Footloose, which is kind of more of a pinky coral. I really like Footloose. I think it's going to be one of those colors I wear a lot in the summer. Then Girl Code. There's a lot of pink shades. This is a deeper toned pink than the other ones. That's Girl Code up there. And then the last one I have is called Stepping Out, and it's probably my favorite. It is the more, like, it's a red toned pink, and you guys know how much I love my red toned pinks. So that is Stepping Out. If you like kind of moisturizing but still lipsticky feeling products, those are definitely up your alley. And I think they're really reasonably priced too, so go check them out. These I know I raved about last year. I'm sure that I did. I've also raved about them in several other videos since then. These are the Julep Plush Pout Lip Crayons. <sighs> the original four colors. I have all four of the original colors. I'm wearing almond cream on my lips right now. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So in March, or in May, they've actually launched new shades of the Plush Pouts, and of course, I couldn't say no. So I have, uh, I just wanna show you guys the differences. So the packaging is identical, but the bottoms, the new ones have colored stickers and the old ones had black. So I really like that because it makes it easy for me to find them in my collection. So we're going to go through all the colors. I'm going to do lip swatches and hand swatches so you guys can see them. What I love about these, I don't know if I showed you guys last year, but I'm going to go ahead and show you now, is there's a white center that's super, super moisturizing, and then the colors on the outside. So you have options with how you use these. I'm just going to show you guys the difference. If you rub this basically along the outside, you see how you get a much deeper color than if you mix it with the moisturizer, and all of them are like that. So this one is Almond Nude Cream. I really, really, really love this one. This is Aurora Pink Cream. This is my go-to everyday wearable pink. It is so easy to apply. I keep one of these in my purse. I absolutely love this color. And this is the swatch difference. So that is with the moisturizer and that is without, just along the side. You can see, you can really build up the color pigmentation on these if you want to. So that's Aurora Pink Cream. Now we're getting into the deeper colors from last year. So this is Magenta Plum. This is definitely a fall shade. It has that vampy purple feel to it. Very like ready purple, kind of almost a wine color. I love this one in the fall. And that is with the moisturizer. See the difference and without. That one's major. And then my staple color, this is Cardinal Red Cream. So this is Cardinal Red with the moisturizer and without the moisturizer. And this is Cardinal Red on my lips. If you guys saw me wearing a red lip at all last year towards the end of the year, like November, December, this is the color I was wearing. I am obsessed with Cardinal Red. I think I have two backups of this. It is hands down my most favorite red color of all time. I think it is absolutely visually stunning. Hey guys, it's Tanya here, back with different makeup. I am so sorry. Yesterday I started swatching and reviewing the Julep Plush Pouts for you guys, and then the day got so crazy hectic. I had so many things going on that I actually had to stop mid-filming, go do everything, and completely forgot to continue filming when I got home. So you're getting different makeup today. I hope you like it. And let's review the newest three colors from the Julep Plush Pouts. So the first one is the Electric Coral Cream, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. Absolutely love this color. I was a little concerned that it was going to be on the orange side for me, but it's gorgeous. And again, like all the other colors, if you use the middle, you get a much sheerer color than if you just use the outside. So that's the two swatches next to each other. That is what I'm wearing on my lips. I've been wearing this all day. I absolutely love this color more than I could possibly ever explain to you how much I love this color. It's just beautiful, visually beautiful. This is like my go-to summer lip right now. I keep saying summer and some of my friends have been correcting me going, it's just spring. I know it's just spring, but I so desperately want it to be summer that I'm just calling it summer and hopefully it'll just happen because that's how it works, right? The next one is Fuchsia Berry Cream. Now normally this would be the last one I'm trying on, or this would be the darkest, so it would be the last one I'm trying on, but I want to try this one on last. So, isn't that gorgeous? So this is Fuchsia Berry Cream. Now I'm going to swatch that with the middle, and I'm going to swatch that straight on the side, 
And I'm also going to swatch Magenta Plum just so you guys can see how different these two are because they do look very similar on my lips, but I promise you in real person, in real person, because you can never be a fake person. In real life, they are different. So that is with the, the middle part. That is straight on and that is Magenta. So Magenta is just a little bit more purple and this is more pink. But that is it on my lips. I actually really like this color. I was worried this color was going to be too purple. And it's not. It's absolutely really, really, really pretty. And then the last newest one is called Flamingo Pink Cream. So I'm going to do a middle swatch, a straight swatch. So that's with the, you know, the middle moisturizing center. And that's just straight. And let's apply it. This is bright and vibrant and fun. It's like that hot pinky purple. Really, really pretty. I love this lip color. So those are the new colors that I got. I think there actually are two other ones that I did not pick up. But if you haven't ever tried any of Julep's beauty products from these new eyeshadows to all of those plush pouts, even their lipsticks. I really like their lipstick formula, but to me, it's very much just a typical lipstick formula where the plush pouts are moisturizing but super, super pigmented. Oh my god. If you haven't tried them yet, you should go check Julep out. I will link it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. I don't often review my Julep boxes anymore because I don't think that you guys are interested in nail polishes. But if you are, leave a comment down below and let me know that you'd like to see my monthly Julep boxes. I might start doing blog posts on them again because I know you guys really enjoyed that. Anyway, if you're not already, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I know it's killing me Don't you know it's meant to be I don't want to let you go Cause you're everything to me